हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन क्लास ट्वेल्व सेकेंड चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक पोटेंशियल एंड कैपेसिटेंस सो वी स्टार्ट विद इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक पोटेंशियल एंड देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल ऑन एक्जियल लाइन एंड इक्वेटोरियल लाइन एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस टू और थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स फॉर द सेम सो लेट्स बिगेन द वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज पोटेंशियल so the question arises in mind that what is potential okay if i am going to tell you the word to word meaning means hindi translation of this potential is that is known as shamta means ability of a body to do some work so i think you are now familiar about work in terms of physics work means work means a body displays a body displays so in very simple or straight words i am saying to you potential of any body can not be defined i repeat potential of any body can not be defined but we can compare the potential of any two bodies i repeat potential of any body cannot be defined but potential can be compared like if i am going to take an example of cricket uh, match team 1 score something but, but uh, suppose india and australia are playing a cricket game and india uh, uh, to give a target of 320 runs to australia so it means uh, it doesn't means that india can score only 320 runs no it's not uh, not like that so potential of any one can depends on several factors so potential can never be defined but potential can be compared if australia uh, make a score of 321 then that that uh, team that australia get wins otherwise not it means potential can be compared <coughs> sorry <coughs> potential can be compared potential cannot be measured so potential means ability of the body to do some work ability of the body to do some work and if i am going to tell you about electro static potential it means in this case what uh, what actually we are going to you know, discuss in electrostatic potential in this case we are going to compare we are going to compare electrostatic potential we are going to calculate electrostatic potential difference means potential of a body a with respect to potential of body b so this comparison process is known as electrostatic potential difference ability of the body of charged particle 1 with respect to charged particle 2 so this comparison gives us an idea about electrostatic potential difference okay let me check the frame everything is clear yeah it's fine so i repeat all the things potential means ability of the body to do some work but in simple words in very simple words potential of a single body cannot be defined but potential always compare i repeat potential always potential always compare potential of a body can be compared with respect to any other body okay like potential of body a with respect to b what is this v v is the symbol for potential you can see symbol for potential and the unit for potential is volt okay and this is a scalar quantity this is a scalar quantity potential is a scalar quantity unit for the potential is volt and the symbol for the potential is v if i will call you the things from class 10 then you remember what is potential amount of work done to take a charged particle from infinity to a point this is the definition which you did in class 10th so we start from the same please note it down okay 
so till now we discussed what is potential potential means ability of the body to do some work but potential of a single body cannot be measured potential is a scalar quantity the e symbol for potential is v and the unit for potential is v and we always compare a potential of body 1 with respect to potential of body 2 so what definition we remember from class 10 potential difference and it says potential difference amount of work done to take a charge particle to take a charge particle from infinity from infinity to a point in the vicinity of another source charge it means we are doing some work to take a charge particle from one point to another point okay and this is known as this is known as electric uh, electrostatic potential difference okay so in this case let me explain few points about electrostatic potential difference first point is the charge particle which we are taken from infinity to a point we are considering that is a point charge that is a point charge second point that point charge experience experience an opposing force for example this is a positive charge we are uh, we are we just call it this is our source charge what is this this is our source charge and we this is our test charge q not this is our test charge which we are going to bring from infinity to to a point p to a point p now this test charge is a positive polarity this source charge is also a positive polarity so as we are bringing this test charge near by to source charge definitely there is a repulsive force experienced by the test charge it means experience an opposing force means the charge we are going to bring from infinity to a point p that charge continuously experience an opposing force but still we are trying to take the test charge at point p that's why i am telling you this is known as shamta ability of the body to do some work still there is a repulsive force still there is a repulsive force acting on this test charge but we are taking this test charge from infinity to a point p in by applying some external force by applying some external force so i think you got this point i just tell you once once again this is our source charge of positive polarity this is our test charge which is also considered as a positive polarity and this test charge experience a repulsive force due to this source charge but still by the external force because we want to take this charge particle from this point to this point from this point to this point and we are applying an external force and this external force is an opposing force kiska oppose kar raha repulsive force ka it means we are trying to take this test charge from this point to this point so it gives us shamta ye hame kya batayega hamari shamta batayega this is known as uh, electrostatic potential so we we are going to take a firstly we are start with point charge then we can go with any charge theek hai so first condition you can say first uh, situation first point is that we are going to take point charge second there is an opposing force there is an opposing force and third thing is kinetic energy of test charge or whatever be the charge we are going to take from infinity to a point theek hai kinetic energy of test charge is equal to zero is equal to zero why equal to zero it means the total force we are applying 
on this stress charge is just slightly displace the charge particle. It's not accelerate the charge particle. It's just displace the particle. It means total work done by the external force is to displace the charge particle. I repeat, the total work done to take the charge particle from infinity to a point is just to displace, not accelerate. It means if now we work done or whatever be the energy we are giving to this charge, whatever be the energy we are giving to, to this charge that just displace our charge, that just displace our charge. Okay, that's why we just get to know Shanta. If we are giving more energy and our charge particle will start moving or accelerating or with, uh, with, with a certain velocity, it means we are giving more energy than repulsive force, but we just want to know the shanta because when, when our charge particle is just displaced, when our charge particle is just displaced, otherwise if the charge particle is accelerating, then it means we are applying more force. We are, we, we are not get to know that how much is the capability or how much is the ability of this charge to take from infinity to point B. Okay, so that's why the point charge we are using and experience and opposing force and kinetic energy of the test charge must be zero. Okay, you can also write it uh, Vipreet Prasthiti. Vipreet situation. <laughs> It means uh, still there is a repulsive force. This, these are the three important points. Uh, this still there is a repulsive force, but we are going to bring our charge particle by applying any external force. So that's why we get to know our ability. That's why. So due to this, we get to know our ability. And the fourth point is this electrostatic force is conservative force. Conservative force. Conservative force means it's path independent. Path independent. Independent. It means either we can calculate work done from infinity to point P or we can calculate work done from P to infinity. Total work done will be zero. It means work done from infinity to P is exactly opposite to the P to infinity. Like this, work done from infinity to point P is equal to minus of work done from P to infinity. P to infinity. They both are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. This negative sign uh, tells us like opposite in direction. So please note it down. What is potential difference or electrostatic? You can write electrostatic potential difference. So amount of work done to take a charge particle from infinity to a point in the vicinity. Vicinity means uh, where the electric field of that particular charge. This is our positive charge and this is the vicinity. This is the vicinity because in this region, this is the vicinity because in this region, the electric field of this source charge can be found. So this is known as vicinity. So whenever we are bringing this stress charge over here, we are doing work against electrostatic force. Only then we get to know ability to do some work. Okay. Next few points we have. We are going to use a point charge. It's not, it's not compulsory. We can use any charge. But we can start with point charge. Then we just multiply. Okay. Now experience and opposing force. Experience and opposing force. Means the situation kya hongi ho? Vipreet hongi. Yes, here we have. This is the repulsive force. And this is the external force. Okay, they both are acting in opposite direction. It means repulsive force the tends that uh, the test charge remains away from the source charge but external force keep the test charge towards the source charge. I think you got my point. I repeat this external force tends to keep the test charge in the direction or towards the source charge. Okay. Next beta kinetic energy of test charge must be zero. This is important condition. It must be zero. Why it must be zero? Because total work done, what we are doing to take the charge particle, that, that just given to charge, that just displace the charge, that just displace the, displace the charge. Suppose, suppose for example, 
that here we have one newton repulsive force and here we are applying two newton external force so definitely our charged particle will moving very fastly we don't get to know that how much uh, ability we are how, how how much we are able to do some work because now we are applying more than the required force more than the required force so that's why if we are applying only one newton force if we are applying here only one newton force only then we get to know that how much work we can do because kabhi pata lagega na ki jitna hame repulsive force mila if we withstand agar usko jhel pate hain if we withstand this much force only then we are able to do work okay let me repeat this line this is very important line if we want to know our ability if we know if we know about our ability that what we can do so it means we can experience an against force we can experience an uh, you can say uh, downward force which which makes us down so if we withstand that much force it means we, that that is our ability it means that is our ability we can withstand that much force similarly one newton is the repulsive force and if we are applying one newton external force it means this is our ability that we can withstand this much force so this is the way how you get to know about potential and kinetic energy must be zero why kinetic energy must be zero because we just check we are just going to check our ability that either we can withstand jhela either we can withstand this much force or not next beta this is conservative force conservative force means this is path independent either the charged particle follow this path either the path charged particle follow this path or any path it's path independent we just go with the shortest path okay or you, you can see one more thing because of this conservative force the work done is equal and opposite from infinity to p or p to infinity means either we take the charged particle from p to infinity sorry p to infinity or infinity to p both are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction let's note it down take a screenshot then we move to next <coughs> okay now the next is the what is the way to calculate electrostatic potential how we can calculate electrostatic potential so suppose we are going to cal as i told you potential of a cannot be calculated directly it's not possible but we assume we assume potential at infinity is equal to zero potential at infinity is equal to zero in physics we are assuming it this is our assumption so if i am writing potential of a minus potential of b this is correct we can compare this situation is possible but this is not possible so potential of a minus potential of b what is this it means we are doing work to take the charged particle from b to a just remember the formula from class 10 that amount of work done to take the charged particle from a infinity to a point so here we have a to b so the we have to do work from b to a by taking a test charge b to a similarly if i am going to calculate potential a c minus d we are going to get potential difference between c and d it means we have to do work from d to c by taking a test charge similarly we can write potential of m minus potential of n now we are going to calculate potential difference between m and n so it must be work done from n to m per unit test charge okay so okay so if i am writing v m minus v infinity now come to the definition v m minus v infinity it means now this time we are going to take the charged particle from infinity to m okay and what is this v m because this is equal to zero okay so it is equal to work done infinity to m by per unit test charge this is our definition what is potential of m when we are taking a charged particle from infinity to a point m per unit test charge so this is the definition how we can write 
potential at any point okay if you still have any doubt regarding potential so i just tell you again if, because it's a very easy topic so easy cheeze samajh nahi aati jaldi se okay so what is potential means ability of the body to do some work in vipreet situation it means uh, again i have come to the same diagram this is our source charge this is our test charge test charge is experience a repulsive force and we are applying an external force if we are capable to displace this charge in a very simple and straight words if we are capable to or uh, if i am capable to take this test charge over here it means it means i can do uh, i can apply this much force at least i can apply this much force it means i am going to compare my potential with respect to repulsive force so this is the way to calculate potential and this is the mathematical way similarly over here what is va va is equal to work done from infinity to a by test charge similarly what is vc vc is equal to work done from infinity to point c okay by test charge okay because potential at infinity is equal to zero and potential at infinity again a is equal to zero okay this is all about this potential now let's come to the derivation take a screenshot okay now the next is same we are calculating the value mathematical derivation you can see for electrostatic potential and the formula is v is equal to k q by r potential and uh, this is a scalar quantity what is k 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q source charge and r is the distance where we want to take that charge let me check the frame yeah it's fine so <coughs> let's uh, the same diagram this is our source charge this is our uh, point p this is our point p at a distance r uh, and we are going to bring our test charge from infinity to a point p okay amount of work done to take a charge particle from infinity to a point p this that is known as potential so what we we need to find out vp and that is work done from infinity to point p by per unit test charge this is our mathematical definition so now what we need to find out we need to find out this work done from infinity to p so i think it's uh, because you can write because uh, electro work done work done due to electro static force is conservative i already told you in very first uh, slide work done due to electro static force is conservative so work done from infinity to p is equal to work done from p to infinity is it right no here we have a negative sign also because both are having equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so i am going to calculate work done from p to infinity it's much easier to take integration that's why i go with this method so now work done to take a charge particle from p to infinity now remember the conditions we have first we have point charge or any charge second condition that is in vipreet situation so this time we are going to take charge particle from p to infinity p to infinity suppose uh, we are taking a charge we are taking our charge from a to b a to b okay then we integrate we first we are taking our charge particle from a to point b now at point a if our charge particle is over here that it is already experience a repulsive force it is already experience a repulsive force but condition kya hai vipreet situation it means now we are applying our external force in this direction okay and this is our repulsive force this is our repulsive force so it means condition is external force is nearly equal to 
repulsive so that kinetic energy is equal to zero i repeat the thing external force is equal to repulsive force so that kinetic energy is equal to zero and it displaces the charge particle via a displacement of d r okay so now what is work done obviously small amount of work we have to done to take a charge particle from a to b force f external which is nearly equal to repulsive force only then hame pata lagega about our potential that either we can withstand hum itna force jhel sakte hain kya nahi so f external into dr into cos 180 degree because we displace from a to b this is direction of displacement and this is the direction of this is the direction of displacement and this is the direction of external force okay and we have to integrate this from point p to infinity from point p to point infinity okay now dw is equal to f repulsive because we are assuming for calculation purposes f external is equal to f repulsive it's quite easy to calculate it's quite easy to calculate that's why that's why i put over here f repulsive dot dr and i put negative sign over here from p to infinity why i put negative because cos 180 is equal to minus 1 cos 180 degree is equal to minus 1 now just put the value what is k f repulsive k q source charge this is our source charge and this is our test charge okay now what is this distance suppose this distance is x okay and take the, this is x dx beta it's quite easy to solve dx for integration dx okay suppose this distance is x so k q q naught by x square into dx from p to infinity now is equal to dw dw is equal to we can take common k is constant source charge is constant q naught is constant what is left 1 by x square dx from p to infinity from p to infinity so it becomes yes it becomes 1 by uh, 1 by x square and yani we can write x raised to the power by, okay let me tell you over here x raised to the power minus 2 dx integration x ki power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 it becomes minus 1 by x so this is our integration k q q naught minus 1 by x minus 1 by x p to infinity p to infinity and what is the point p r and just second is infinity so we can write k this is our total work done from p to infinity it becomes W capital K Q Q naught one by infinity minus minus plus upper limit minus lower limit one by R because P is equal to R okay so it becomes what it what is the value of this it becomes K Q K Q Q naught by R. By R. Now this work done is from P to infinity and P to infinity, P to infinity. Then this is negative of this one. This is negative of this one. K Q yes K Q by R. Okay, yeah, it's correct. Minus one eighty. <coughs> okay, so. This is our total work done K Q Q naught by R. Okay. Now we calculate work done from P to infinity, but actually we know we need to find out infinity to P, and P infinity to P is negative of P to infinity, so it becomes is equal to you can write here infinity to P. It becomes minus K Q naught by R. Okay. So what is potential infinity to P? It is minus K Q naught by R by Q naught. It get cancel. It is K Q by R. Okay. Negative. Let me check. 
this is f external f repulsive minus okay okay i oh sorry sorry i forgot this negative sign so it becomes negative it becomes positive and this is positive okay i forgot this negative sign over here this is negative this is also negative this is also negative negative and it is negative so it becomes finally k q by r this is our final result now remember one more thing potential is positive for positive source charge potential is negative for negative source charge i repeat all the things again amount of work done to take a charged particle from infinity to a point p okay so we are assuming that initially our we just take our source charge from a to b by taking a displacement of dx and initially the point a is at a distance of x so this or because this is a positive charge this is a positive charge it experience a repulsive force and hamari condition kya hai that vipreet situation it means we are applying force in this direction f external so obviously because work done due to electrostatic force is conservative so work done from infinity to p is equal to minus of work done from p to infinity because it is a conservative force path independent force okay now work done from p to infinity from p to infinity because it's quite easy to get take integration now f external in this direction displacement in this direction so angle will be 180 cos 180 minus 1 and because we are applying very very small force because kinetic energy is equal to zero so we can assume that external force is however external force is little bit more than repulsive force but for the calculation purposes to make our calculation easy we assume that our external force is nearly equal to the repulsive force so that's why i replace it over here here we have negative sign because of minus cos 180 That is minus one p to infinity k q q naught by Coulomb's law k q one q two by r square. Distance is x over here k q q naught. We can take common because they are constant. One by x square. Integration of one by x square we can write as x raised to the power minus two. Now integration x raised to the power minus two plus one by minus two plus one. It becomes minus one by x. Now in limit p to infinity p to infinity. The value p is r. Distances are okay. So minus k q naught upper uh, upper limit minus lower limit minus minus plus something by infinity zero. So it becomes minus k q naught by r. Okay, this is our potential from p to infinity. But we need to find out from infinity to point p. Infinity to point p that is negative because 